Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. I've been thinking of buying a laser engraver for my laser work for years. At least four years. So a few weeks ago when Ofero contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try their new laser engraver, I was like, yeah, of course, because lasers, lasers are cool. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna open this box, we're gonna assemble the machine and see what it's capable of, mainly on leather, but also maybe on other stuff. Let's get started. Opening the box, my first impression is already pretty good. Everything is well packed with foam and all the parts are inside plastic bags keeping them from dust. In the box we have three laser heads, a guard, some accessories for the machine, sample materials, goggles for protection, a power cord and a USB cable. The machine is light and compact, but second good surprise, it's already assembled and almost ready to use. On the front panel we have the power plug, an USB port, an offline controller and power and reset buttons. The engraver is very stable and everything moves smoothly and quietly. Back to the user manual. It gives you a list of all the parts included and links to everything you need to know about the machine. Let's talk about the lasers. The first head is an Ofero LU2-2. It has a maximum luminous power of 1600 mW. The guard slides on both sides of the head and stay in place with two screws. The second one is an Ofero LU2-4-LF. It has a maximum power of 5500 mW. The last head is the Ofero LU2-4-SF. It has the same maximum power of 5500 mW, but it has a magnetic guard and that's pretty cool. The three heads have dovetails on the back and they are really easy to put on the machine. Now I can plug the cable into the laser head and attach the ground yellow wire to the nearest screw of the head and check if everything's working. And it is. Before starting doing engraving tests, I want to bolt the machine to a piece of plywood to make it easier to move around the shop and make it perfectly square to the engraving surface. I'm using the fur angle fastener included in the accessories with some small bolts and screws. Then I can check for squareness and another good surprise, everything was already perfect. I'm using a small piece of plywood as a sacrificial ball. All I need to do now is plug the machine to my computer and set the head to the right height for a perfect laser focus. The focal gouge makes it really easy. Now let's open GRBL. You can download it and use it for free and it's pretty easy to use. I'm choosing COM6 to connect the engraver to my computer, then I can load the picture I want to engrave. I'm gonna start with my logo. When all the settings are okay, I can click on next to access all the settings of the laser. You can choose the speed of the laser, the power and the number of lines by millimeter. I recommend you to check the Excel sheet listed on the offer website to choose the right settings for your material and project. I'm going to engrave plywood first, so I'm setting the machine at a 2000 millimeter by minute with an M4 dynamic power of 100%. Now I can place my material under the laser head. 
click on focus to see the laser and adjust the position. Clicking on frame will make the engraver draw the space above the material without burning it so you can check if everything is good before starting. Don't forget to wear your PPE, goggle and mask. Then I can launch the job and just enjoy the show. The first try was pretty good, but I want to test the same design with the second head. I forgot to put the guard on this one. Good thing I had my goggles. The second head makes the engraving much deeper and I really like the result. Let's try the third one. The third head is the most powerful one and it shows. The engraving is very deep but still pretty nice. Detail wise, I prefer the second one. What do you think? Please tell me in the comments. Now let's try with leather. I'm putting some double sided tape under the leather so it doesn't move during engraving. I can load the image and I chose a dragon because dragons are cool. With the first head, I had all the details and a really good engraving quality. Let's try with the second one. Burning material will produce a lot of smoke, so be sure to engrave in a well aerated room or better, set up a fume extraction system next to your machine. Once again, good result and deeper cut. I also wanted to test different shades of grey for future projects and my logo, so that's what I did next. Well, I have to say that I'm pretty surprised with the machine and in a good way. I was not expecting it to be fully assembled, perfectly square and tight when I received it, which was a good surprise. So much time saved assembling it. Receiving three different laser engraving heads was also a great surprise. It offers so much possibilities depending on the power you want to work with, the material you want to work with and the results that you're aiming for. Changing the laser head is quick and easy and the difference of quality is pretty impressive. And if you only consider the first head, the engraving is very precise and the quality is really good as you can see on this thing. I would recommend you to do some tests before you start engraving your main piece because the settings are really important and the document that they allow you to download on the internet with all the settings for different materials comes in really handy but depending on your leather and the thickness and the quality um, I think it's always good to make a few tests uh, on offcuts to see what it will look like Overall, I'm super happy with the machine I think it's a really good entry-level laser engraver for people like me who know close to nothing about that kind of machine. I think it's pretty safe to say that there will be a lot of laser engraving in my next videos. Until then, be good, be safe, keep making and see you in the next one. Bye everyone!